sharing their very personal stories. And those women are all of us. I don't think living proof and a real life example of how important these tests are. But I wanted to ask you first of all about Cindy. She had breast cancer. She's eight years out, right? And, yes. But it was diagnosed when she was between the ages of 35 and 40. She was, I guess, 35? She was 35. And generally, we're telling women Marty's story. Obviously, she let it slide. You have to get this every year, correct? Over the age of... I know that's something you feel very strongly about. It's the number, number one killer. There are not that many diagnostic tests, though, are there, that can indicate if, you have, if you're at risk of heart disease? Well, most women don't even have the test. I mean, the things you have to do every year if you're a woman. Pelvic exam annually. Pelvic exam, take better care of our cars. I, okay, you're not, you can't oh, be that is cool for this, you know what I mean? Okay, all right, now spread out, in your, spread out in your part. You're going to do a game, right? Okay. These are some dots that you can get. This comes in a set of six. But you can get it at Power Systems, which is a uh, sporting goods company. Uh-huh, and this is Gabrielle. This is Lizette. Lizette, I'm sorry. Lizette, you nice going work, you Lizette. There. Okay, thank you. Now, here's Lizette. another fun thing that you... Hey, Rachel. Every okay. kid has is You have two shock. Two shock. I used to foot. do this when I was little. This is okay. like a broad jump. Gertie knows words like subtle. Do you know what precocious means? Because that's the word that is often used to describe you. Um, yeah. Self-confidence. I didn't look up the exact... Uh, definition in the dictionary, but it's somebody who's a little older, it seems older than their age. Yeah, and I'm advanced. saying I'm nine, going, going on four how old we are, so. Yeah, it's a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, and I know you've done, haven't you done some commercials, or you did Sesame Street anyway? Yeah, I did Sesame Street, Nickelodeon, and the in a movie, and by the way, you have a pretty big part in this movie. Yeah. That must have been so exciting. What was your reaction when you got the part? I was very excited. Oh, Lopez, right? So what was it like for you to meet her? Was it, was it a lot of fun? Was she yeah. great? Yeah. Yeah. When I when I first saw her, when she again, stand up and do it. And <laughs> she told me to do that, and so did Ben and me. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was really cool. It must have been a lot of work, though, was it? Yeah, we had. Well, good luck, <laughs> and I understand you're looking to maybe have a co recording career as yeah. well. So you might be like a little mini J Lo. Who knows, right? Yeah. Well, it's so nice to meet you, Raquel. Nice to meet you, Jeff. And good luck with everything. Thank you. And I think you look so cute. And by the way, I love your Converse sneaks. Thank you. Those are way cool. Do we have a shot here? Okay. What a wild weekend you had, Michelle. Can you, I mean, have you sort of gotten over it? I mean, or is your head still spinning? My head's still spinning. I don't know if it's from the time. Um, I had some problems with it. Took the stitching out and made the championships. And that is such a huge accomplishment. You also have a record 56.0s. I mean, Forgetting all the controversy for a moment, that's got to feel good. It feels are the better for it because we love to watch you skate because you're such a beautiful skater. Let's talk about some of the things that happened that you did right, that decision. The Federation, the U.S. Federation. You know, surely you've done this program countless times. I can't imagine. I mean, hundreds and hundreds mm -hmm. and hundreds of times in practice. Had you ever come over before? Had that been something that, had you been timed? Had people been mindful of the time limit as you practiced? happened on the, the way to your long program. Tell me quickly what happened. Well, in the long program, um, I was just skated beautifully, and I know that you're now going to do Champions on Ice. Is that right? Yes, I'm um, actually forced to like it because there's such a clear delineation between good and evil. I mean, the stepsisters yeah. are so wicked <laughs> and so awful. They're pretty and bad in too. <laughs> They're so nasty. I hated them so much. Well, the dumb one you can't hate. You just you feel pity. sorry for her. <laughs> but the, the awful one is just... She's just, she's just cruel cruel and disgusting. She's like everything an obnoxious teenager but, is. But to give right? Lucy Punch credit, that's all a performance. She's the loveliest girl in the entire world. We actually got to be very good friends during the course of filming. I know you've compared this or, or described it as co a combo between sort of the Princess Diaries and Shrek. <laughs> it did have a bit of a shrek -man quality. I don't know if Harvey minds. You don't appreciate my saying that. But the fantasy and the the sort of the, the funny lines in it, I think, borrows a little bit from that, don't you? I think I think definitely uh, songs and have covers for them. Well, it was great because, of course, they were all songs from my high school years. <laughs> right? It was like a trip down memory lane. <laughs> You're 21 years old, and I have to say I so admire the fact that you have not sort of succumbed to the trappings of celebrity and sort of the sleaziness that seems to 
attract a lot of young actresses these days. I'll probably get in trouble for well, saying that, but no judgment. <laughs> but how, how have you kind of resisted kind of going in that direction? Because um, I'm sure there's pressure on you too, yeah, right? Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. It was, it, to be perfectly honest, yes, Vinny, yes. but he must have been a lot of fun to play. Great fun to play. I mean, he's, he's slimy and he's wicked. And Tell me a little bit about the storyline behind the movie. I know it and I saw right, the movie and right. loved it, but for folks at home who may be looking for something fun to do all over right. the weekend, what is it all about? Well, it's all about this girl. She, she has it, it all, all, you know. <laughs> we hate her in a way. <laughs> anyway, so she plays, obviously, yes, Ella, Ella, who's a Cinderella type. Right, character. very much a Cinderella type. And, and Amazing. We can get off Ella Enchanted now since we're talking about a totally different movie. <laughs> but anyway, are you surprised about it? I am. I'm, I'm wonderfully surprised about it. I mean, I, I was and now, tongue in cheek. Yeah. Now it sort of seems to be happening with a lot of frequency. If you look at Shrek and right. Ella Enchanted right. and some of these other. Cinderella right. type movies, I yeah. guess The Prince and Me, is that what it, the other one is yes, called, I, I think, think so, with yeah. Julia Stiles? Right. But you you did, uh, as I mentioned, The Princess Bride, you did Robin Hood, Correct. Men in Tights, right. and, and now Ella Enchanted. I Are you going to do anything in, set in the modern <laughs> era, Carrie, at some point? It sounds yeah. like a nice change of pace yes, for you as well. So. But Ella Enchanted, I thought you did a superb job at being a, you know, being a really Bad. Dastardly, dastardly, dastardly guy. A, a cad. A cad, right? Yeah. But anyway, Carrie Ellis, it's so nice okay, to see you. Thank you so have much. Have a great weekend you. and thank you. happy, happy Easter. Easter to you. Thank you so much. Ellen Enchanted, by the way, cast its spell in theaters all over the country today. And we'll be back with more today right after this. Good morning. Good nice morning, to see you, Rocco. Yeah, nice to see you too. I Thanks mean, when you, when, when you hear about this or relive this or live it in the first place, do you think? What was I thinking? You know, when you sign up for reality television, you never know what's going to happen. And just imagine that they show up in the busiest of business. And, uh, wow. Well, well I, 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 I know that uh, this has turned into a nightmare. Can you tell us briefly what is going on? Sure, yeah. Um, Jeffrey and I opened a restaurant together. Uh, months later, he decided uh, he didn't like the way things were going. And, he's, uh, ac he's, he, he's accused you, and he's suing you. I mean, he's yeah, accused you me. of mismanagement, yeah. Yeah. of not doing yeah. your part to make Rocco's on 22nd right. a, a right. financial success. Right. And you have situation, not one I want to be in at all. Has your restaurant lost, lost hundreds of thousands of dollars well, since its opening? You know, he hasn't produced any credible financial documents that have proven that, and in fact, when I go over... The hadn't sort of taken on so much? The, the thing I regret the most is not working with the right partner in that situation. I think with the right support, um, anybody, any busy, a... So what are we going to see tonight as the season starts again, or we re revisit the restaurant? Well, you're going to see um, Rocco six months later in their personality. I'm just curious, Rocco, with all you've been through, I yeah. mean, you were sort of at, at the height of, yeah. of, of your, you know, top of your game, and yeah. then all these bad things yeah. started happening, or yeah. at least this very difficult situation. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a lesson here for other entrepreneurs, either, you know, not only restaurateurs, mm -hmm. but people who want to get into, start their own business, mm -hmm. that maybe you learned that, that people now can learn from? You know, it's... Business. Well, it'll be fun to see yeah. what happens, and hopefully everything will work out for you and your partners Thank and you. everyone involved Thank in the you. restaurant. But to end on a, on a sweet note, I brought you a little cheesecake, because not everything in life is, is bitter. This is um, this is my mom's ricotta cheesecake. Oh you want a bite God. first thing in the morning? Rocco, <laughs> I'm trying to quit. You're trying to quit? Yeah, but here, yeah. Just, Let's just smell it. And, uh, I have a rule about it. I have a rule just smell about it. It smells half of eating, so, yeah. Mike, well, I'm a little congested, but okay. before that comes about, it smells really good. Now cheesecake, I'm sure big failure. <laughs> no, no, no. It looks delicious. I'm going to try it during the commercial. Thank Rocco, you. thanks for Thank coming you. by. Thank it's you. good Thank to you. see you. The new season of the restaurant, by the way.